Hello everyone, Test Tube here, and we are back. Welcome to another Stanley Cup Playoffs on EA Sports. This next matchup, as we are about to be seeing a rematch in between, where the two in, in between, the first seed of the Atlantic of the Boston Bruins, taking on against the fourth seed of the wild card position, against the Pittsburgh Penguins. Right now, Boston are at Pittsburgh to play at the PBG Paints Arena. And a courtesy of the lineups that are being as right now, Olmark might have another way to get this thing right down on the board. But hopefully in this one, Jari might be able to take a save out of it and do the best one as he can. Right now, the courtesy of this lineup as Boston extends their run 2-0 over the Pittsburgh. Will the Pittsburgh get the third game winner? Or will the Bruins take it over with a 3-0 victory win? Right now, the commentary is next. As right now we have is Fan along with Son of Beast. And on the center ice for this starter, we have his me phone. I'll be back here with the post game show after the game is over. Guys, it's all yours. Enjoy the next game. Hello everyone, and greetings in Pittsburgh. Right now the third game is on. A great day to be playing hockey in Pittsburgh. The rematch is on, the Bruins and the Penguins at PBG Paints Arena. It is that time. Here we go. The game is on, and we're underway in PBG Paints Arena. The courtesy lineup is being here as followed. We have is Sidney Crosby. Across the other side, we have is Raquel. Then it's Scripps that sell with the, with the board. Then across in the back is the Mullen. And finally, we have is Latang. The starting goalie for the Pittsburgh Penguins is is Tristan Jari. Jari has been one of the able to make that one of the saves here in the last couple of games of the regular season. He was able to do with one of his team that he has definitely done the one of the best. For the game for him, he's really keeping an eyes on a look of a target. For this one, he's not keeping it up with the strength that he could have been able to do was try to keep him over for the deck and go with the line back toward the line. Block the shot. Raquel with it now back over to Latane. The shot, it's stopped up by Omar. Trying to give it off to him, but it's McAvoy with the steal. Bridge that sound. Shot blocked by McAvoy. Now swings over to Crosby. McAvoy takes it away. Filing for the loose puck. Here's McAvoy back to Bergeron. Here's Bergeron. The other team on the lineups are currently up, and Jerry with the save. Jari was able to do one of his uh, best, best moment because if his movement is keeping an eyes on a, on a stick, he was really trying to keep it over from the deck out of it and try to go with the back pass to hit the deck on the board. Bergeron, stopped by Jari. Try to take it back. The sucker has the puck. The Penguins regain their group on offense zone. Look over to Crosby. Stopped by Omar. Only 16.48 to go in the first period. Players are set, ready to take inbound in the offense zone. We are on the way here in Pittsburgh. It's no score in this game. Lindholm over to Zacha. Zacha moving in for the offense zone. Petri moves over to Zucker. Pittsburgh on offense for Boston Territory. Russ swings to Petri over back again to Patterson. Patterson shot. Stopped by Olmar. Olmar was doing a, one of his best moments here. Since the last game, he definitely had turned out to be a lot of his saves here in game two. He really did turn out one of the only uh, guys that turned out one of his best moments. It was very clear that it turned out one of the best plays that he was able to try to like stop the pressure. He's keeping an eye here, guys. Got to take it over again. Lane home. Bumped up by him. Petri finds over Pedersen. Petri swings around. Takes a shot. Rebound. Scores! Brandon with the goal. The first goal in game three. Awesome play with Brandon. In the back end with the check right around Omar. That's what's going to be a big close call. You can see that Brandon was able to pick up with the puck. And he had that one flicking right into the rebound. He had it right into the puck and take it from the back end. Penguins are up the ones ahead with under 15 minutes to play in the first period. Petri, as right now, it's Carter. Pass the puck over to Heenan. Heenan tries to save the puck again. 
Kulikov over to Friedman. Pass is broken up. Coil back the other way. He looks over now to Brett Jersey. But Jersey scores back the other way. That's the first goal in game three. You could say that Bertuzzi is making a goal right in the mound. He's trying to make a quick move, right with the puck play, and take the inbound in the head. Boston and Penguins are tied up by one with the start of a shock of the first period. Right now, Clifton has one. Bertuzzi, covered up by Ochakal. Bonino, taken down. Scoop up along the board by Clifton. He tries to make a pass to Forbert. Frederick with the puck. Try to make a move. Frederick recovers it. Poked it out. O'Connor moves out. Nice zone entry for Archibald. Try to make the pass. Allmark will have to stop with the save. No penalty called on Boston. Right now, Kolokov's back the other way, back outside. Resetting the puck to Archibald, back over again to O'Connor. O'Connor blocked it up. Kovarat's got the puck here across the offense of his own. Clifton to Frederick. Bonino trying to take the poke check. Takes it away. Now Penguins are on offense to take it over. Oh, hello! Grandlin was able to try to smack that down. Very putting up a hard pressure on him. He's like heavy on the run. Keep it up. Grandlin on the fast break. Moves around and way. Gets back to Patterson. Takes a slap shot. Stop again by Allmark. Patrick to Brandlin. Shot. Left save. Goes back over again to Forbert. 11 20 to go in the first period of game three. Right now, the Penguins in Boston are already, already up even. Pass broke it up. Greer with the puck. Trying to move it back the other way. Frenzel, Frenzel almost lost the puck. Now it's McAvoy to Hathaway. Patterson on him now. Frenzel gives it back. Played a little bump out of it, and Nozek goes back the other way. Pass to the neutral zone in the Penguins' territory. To Nozek, it's blocked up. Frenzel gives off to Raquel. In the corner now, Raquel gives it to Mullen. Slings to Petri. He fires the puck across over to Perguzets now. Flings to Demolin. Back to Petri. Petri shot. Rebound. Crosby couldn't make the save as it's stopped by Allmark. You say that this one is one of the uh, keys to make that one deflect it in. Is when you get the puck, you got to stay up focused. Other guys are already on taking the attack. But for Crosby alone, he was trying to get up, give him over up, and try to deflect it out as soon as he can. Hashtag's right to the wing and in the center. Try to hit the run. Markel has it now. Malkin in the corner. Scooped up a little more by Zacha. Stopped by Jari. We'll hold the play with 8.20 to go in the first period. With the cross of the move, Brad Marchand. He has a make it snappy ability of his own goal. In game three, he tries to make a good motion out of it. When he gives it off to over the players, he tries to make that one snappy across the board to make that one in to keep it up the board. Bounding. I will keep an eye here for Brad Merchant with the call to hit run of deck. Back to you. Now with the penalty call, this one goes to Pittsburgh with an interference on DeMullen. He's in the penalty box and now the power play is on for Boston. Boston are on a power play. In the a, in a first period, it's still a tie game. They could be going here for the leadoff in the first period. Now Brad Merchan takes it over to DeBrusque. McAvoy. Over to Pashinas. Shot blocked. And stopped by Jari. Archibald will take a deck out of it to clear the zone. Pashinas got it across to DeBrusque. Boston in transition. Marchand in the wing. Trying to move it in front. It's fast broken up. Latang clears it out. Carter going for the shorthanded. 
Hassel almost broken out. Friedman stopping the puck and play. Bergeron has the puck here, now back to DeBrusque. Trying to reach it across. Try to McAvoy. Shot to Brashenox. Leads hang. Rebounded it and saved me by Jari. Jari's doing the pressure of a lot of his own work routine. When he gets that one in there, he has to get it off across and try to put it back in there to give it off to the next player. Hey, it bound! What a play! Dumoulin's ready to go. Pashadox in the net. And a power play comes to an end for the Boston Bruins in the first period. Very good job on defense because that one's given a hard uh, pressure on the look. They have that team right away, but they're not really trying to keep that one over it if they wanted to get it around the deck. They have to do another routine. Try to fix the deck out of it, but great job for the defense. They're playing a good run. Coyle trying to pick up a run. Now here's Marchand. 5.15 left to go in the first period. Now it's Coyle with the puck. Gives it to McAvoy. Frederick takes it over. Pittsburgh back to the offense side to take over again. Offing, offing and an icing call for Pittsburgh as we got the whistle and mound. With the win, Coyle. Lindholm in the middle. The Carlisle, that's tipped out. Lindholm back to Brooke Tetzel. Potenzi. Coyle, stopped by Jari. Jari's putting a lot of the move in there. Try to keep it inbound to try to save it. With the cross in between, Sidney Crosby, who has a beauty backhand with the shot. When he gets to the goalie, he can make a contact to put a good, good uh, contact with a beauty backhand shot. Pashinok's got a cross run in the between the zone. He calls it snipe. When he makes that one in there, he can try to deliver it from the player's offense on the board. The lineup is being is currently unpredictable to make that one a good start. I'll be keeping an eye here on a couple of players after this. Back to you guys. Good sets now with the puck to Crosby. With the backhand. Stack stop made by Allmark. Allmark would able to have that one clear because if Sidney Crosby was able to make that backhand shot, he would have stopped right away to hit that one in bound. Halfway over to Nozak. Stop again by Jory. What a save. Petri right into the buck. We'll clear the deck out. Now Kucic now has the puck. Right around the back. Gives it back to Freeman over to Kulikov. Now Kucic now. Moving back to back to Freeman. Over to Bianino. Freeman has it recovered. With well, a inbound, Grudino! Oh, blocked out and saved B by Omar. Under two minutes left to play in the first period, it's a 1-1 game. Move around the front, that's stopped again by the goaltender. With the move, easy textbook save by, by Jari. Penguins are on offense now. Who's it now? Gives it to Carter. Carter moves one in here. Almost went deflected and was stopped here by Allmark. Last minute to play in the first period. It's still a tie game. Gives a squeeze off to Zacha. DeMullen moves back to Archibald. Carter trying to squeeze one in. Move over to Archibald. Shot! Blocked and deflected off of off the off the player. And Lingholm has to recover. You can see that DeMullen was able to pick up that shot. Because of this moment, he was trying to keep it over. It is very difficult to maintain their way. Carlo over to Ketchy. Shot saved me by Jari. Over again to Mullen. And that will end the first period. Both teams are tied up by one. We'll get the second period when we come back after this. second period. The game resumes as right now the game is tied up by one for the Bruins and the Penguins. 
good stop here by Jari. As for the and her team, they are really keeping an eyes on the shuffle. This one is really turning out to be that Sidney Crosby and his team has really worked very hard and tried to regain the group. Every player of this game, they really have won. One of the most games they have definitely did beat up right in, at the last home games. Because of this moment, was turned to be one of the betters of the game. And it didn't really help by one of them that they're trying to keep in motion again. You could say that Latang was definitely swept out of here. He was on the bench. But as of being said right now, he was okay. And he hopefully he might be keeping it back in the game for his medical attention. Jake Gutschetz now. He's got a snipe one here in ability to take the game right in a position. When he looks for a good open passes, he can find one of the open players just like Sidney Crosby. As one of the uh, games here, guys, uh, Gutschetz now has a snipe, can definitely take over from the, uh, from the players and maintain their way. I'll be keeping an eye here on Jake Gutschetz now in the game. Back to you. Crosby shot stopped again by, by Olmar. Sucker swings back over to Petri. Moving the puck back over to Crosby, now back to Zucker. Zucker swings it! Scores! His first goal of the game three! That puts up here for Zucker to make that one extra goal. Good eye on a shot. That was him taking his over right around the net. He got a good aim right in here. In between the zones and bypassing the goalie, he was able to make that clear shot. Jason Zucker. After Sidney Crosby picking up his third point in the lead, he has maintained his way to keep that one up ahead. He really stays in focus on this game after Crosby's assist. This moment keeps on going. I'll be keeping an eye here on Jason, Jason Zucker if he keeps that one right back outside. Back to you. Malkin trying to recover. Now McAvoy has the puck. Things is over to Zacha. Sacha blocked the shot. Great step here as right now they're back over again. Pasternak has the puck back over to Olaf. Hold out to McAvoy. To Pasternak. Blocked it up. Sacha back over to McAvoy. Moves the puck over again to Sacha. In his own. One time stop by Jari. Jari's keeping it well out there. He's done a great job out there. Keep it up. Block the, block the pass a shot, and it's deflected right toward the glass. Malkin fires the power, poked it away here by Olmar. Now McAvoy, recovering the puck over to Pasternak. The Bruins take their offensive zone, up and over the back, hit the mask, right toward the glass. He hopefully that jar is okay. He was right, it was right on top of that helmet that was hit. It was necking it out already, trying to keep it out of here. Ah, oh, he misfires the puck and that goes off the side. Trying to give it back over to Heyman. He tries to swing the puck over to Granlin. He swings back to Kulikov, back to Friedman. Back to Kulikov. Takes a shot. Glove saved me by Allmark. We'll hold the whistle here. We're just under 15 minutes to play in a second period. With tough ones in between, this was a tough one for Tristan Jari and for Lena Salmark. Those guys really have a lot of higher in between. The range is very off site, but it's not really going to help us out if they're going to try to keep it over from the deck. Here's Portetsi with the fling of the puck. Now swings back to Kolokov to Bonino. Bonino down the board. You know, these guys are really trying to smack him over it. Two guys with a block shot. Bonino recovers. Scoop up along the lower by O'Connor. Finds over Bonino. Back to the mulling. Moving the puck back and forth for Latang. To Bonino. Pass broken up as Coyle takes his own puck. Boston firing the puck. No open man feed here. Now Crosby's back the other way. Team on offense trying to pick the struggle. To pass to the chain. Oh, that fires it off with the pass broken up. Try to take it over to Raquel. Now back to Crosby. Over again to Guchetzel. Guchetz now. Try to bring it across. To Crosby. Oh, one timer. Stopped by Omar. 
Oh, we weren't really giving that one a good open feed because that was a close call. Players are ready to take inbound. The Penguins regain their control. They have a 2-1 lead over the Bruins. Right now, Forbutt has it recovered. Clifton with the puck. Back to Forbert. Swings to Marchand. Crosby trying to work his eye on his run. Back to Bergeron. Trying to block it up to DeBrusque. DeBrusque blocked the shot. Nice job for the defensive player. Raquel with it now. He now moves in offense, taking control of his time on offense to pick up the run. Good sets now. Rebound Carter. Not enough timing to get it done. Well, he waited too much longer. He should have had that one a one-time goal and try to put that back in bound. Because when a player was open, he has to get it right in there. That was giving a hard tough in the time. The press with the puck. Trying to move it around. Heenan tried to play it over. 11 minutes going by in the second period. Pass to Grenlin. Over to Heenan. Heenan trying to move around. Trying to give it to Carter. That pass is broken up. The Bruns went down hard. To Petri, over again to Patterson, back over to Petri. Move the puck to Carter. Finds Hannon. Hannon broken up. Bergeron right back outside, coming in his own. Try to wait for the slot. McAvoy, great stop by Patterson with the block. They're all going blocks everywhere because the Penguins got a good times out there to hit the block and reject the shot. Kulikov swings back to Freeman with an open look. That's stopped again by Omar. Orlov to Hathaway. Right now it's Greer with the puck. Boston in the Penguins territory to swing to Nosek. Stopped by Kulikov with the block. Up to Hathaway. Oh, deflected off the net and went right toward the back of the board. The Penguins regain their group on offense, going back over to Zucker. Swings to Kolokov. Freeman pass broken up. 3-0-1, Pashinox. Trying to move a shot. Stopped again by Jari. Put back scores. Pashinox and the back-to-back -back scores come in again. You say that Pashinox was going to get there. He said, no choice. I have it back. Pashinov's got a good covering of this offense. Try to go with under a roommate to try to put it inbound. After Jari stopped, then Pashinov has his own goal. No assisted players had it maintained their way as he put it back his own rebound and tried to put it right in between. He's really that far. I'll be keeping an eyes on Pashinov if he gets his for a second goal. Back to you guys. Both players' teams are set, ready to take the face off. You can feel the energy right now. It's a tie game. Crosby wins the face off. He fires the puck over again to the offside. Who sets now? Banged up. Crosby swings to the Mullen back over to Latang. They're moving up again. Crosby shot. Take the inbound and stopped by Allmark. Allmark was able to do that one. Try to reject the shot here for Chris Sidney Crosby. Pashinox back the airway. 6.40 to go in the second period. Pashinox with the puck. Now moving inside. Taking two. Jolly stop again. Not that time. It went off again. Raquel swings the puck over to Gutetzel. Try to bring it back. Crosby rejecting it. Shot! Stopped again by Omar. Crutchy with the puck. Now swings back over again in offense zone. To Olaf. Orlov's in the neutral zone in offense zone. Going for the attack. Frederick stopped with the pass saved by Jolly. Jolly's still holding on. Not going to be able to keep that one going if he doesn't have much time to go with. O'Connor again to Patterson, back to Petri. He gives it back to O'Connor. Petri swings back over to Patterson. Now Archibald has one. Swinging back to Patterson to Petri. 
Take the open shot. He flunked it up again by, by Omar, and now back the airways Lindholm. Reinforced to regroup here is Benino. Benino on a fast break. Try to go with a shot. Slugger. Two-time goal. No gold here as Omar takes a stop. Kolokov swing to Friedman. To Kolokov. Now swings to Archibald. Archibald with a shot. Stopped by Omar. Bertuzzi right now with the puck. Gives it off to Frederick. Moves it quickly over to Lindholm, back over to Coyle. The Bruins are on offense. Shot went tipped wide. It's very hard because of that shot was very out of focus. Not going to keep it going if you're going to hit that shot in. Kolaka, shot deflected wide, and this one goes out of reach. Mock into West. West swings to Zucker. Gives it to Latang. To the Mullen. Back to Latang. Offsides whistled, and the Pittsburgh will take the face off coming up. Players are set, ready to take an inbound. Right now, the tie game is on as this one coming in down by 2.11 to go. Now, Carlo wins it. Hathaway has the puck here in the neutral offense zone. Try to watch the slot. Heenan takes it over. Now Carter. Carlo broken up the pass. Swings to Greer. Back to Nosek. Now Mount fires the puck across the board. Nosek recovers the puck. Trying to reach it over. All alone, Carter! Shot! Stop by Allmark, and this one goes back to the offense zone. He's really keeping it going because of that one, Carter was trying to reach it in bound, trying to deliver an odd man rush, but it was too late because of Allmark had that one stop, taken away over, and go back to save it. Now here's Hathaway. Down to 30 seconds to play in the second period, the tie game releases. Carter with a stop. Stop by Jari. Bronlin recovers it back the other way. Bronlin trying to look over to Carter. Rebound. Put a stop by Allmark and it ends the second period. Tie score releases. As for DeBrus, had that one to take it back. We got a tie game. We're coming back right after this. All set and ready for the third period of the game. Well, it's been a fantastic matchup between the Pittsburgh and the Boston. It's a tough game that we have definitely did here. Across from the other angle, there was a lot of them to be a friend or foe. Well, there may be a one way to talk about that. That Sidney Crosby was doing really well with his teammate, but it looks like that Pat Berger on in their team, they're trying to like get avoided from it. They got a lot of it to try to work it from here. And Berger on team, they have done it a lot of it. They did the best thing as they could to try to regain the group. And if you're all tuning into the new episode of the Anime Insanity Invitational, it's finally out now. Go ahead and watch right here. After you watching this game, then you can check it out. And after subscribing it to Anime Animation Epic. Here's Crosby with a fast break. Oh, stopped by Omar. How did he get there in time? Omar decided to deliver off to Rust. He swings out to Demolin. Swings to Latane. Fires it. That's stopped again by Omar. There's so much work that's going to happen that Omar was trying to like leave it out of here. Marchand stop. Stop with the pad save by Jari. With 17.30 to go, here's Rust. Oh, bang out! The troublemaking. It's not going to help them all. It's They're never going to appreciate what the bang is coming in. It's very difficult to maintain. McAvoy fires Bergeron. And a pass broken up, and this Demolin has it back. Sucker recovers the goal. Carlo on it now. Orlov back with the other hand. Try to block it from here, and Zacha has it. 
hooked it away, Russ has it back. Now Carter will swing it off the other side. Penguins are in offense zone. Try to get to the Mullen. Top glove saved by Ulmar. He's really going with it again. Try to keep it a range out of there. Got to go with another way. Zacha swings to Pasternak. Pasternak rolls around the rim. Try to move it out of here as Gronlund will have one. Gronlund receiving another rebound in here. Oh, Plutkus, good save here for Jari. Jari was able to do that one here. At his own time, after pushing it and recovering for, for the Bruins, they've got a lot of it now. Pedersen rolls it again, over back to Carter. Petrie to Hennen. Hennen shot! Rebound the ground line and stopped by Orlov after a save made by Olimar. Carla reaches over to Frederick. Frederick tried to block one. Stand a delay penalty call. This one goes with a tripping call. That is Petri. After a crouch, he was slipping down. It looks like this is not going to happen really well for the Pittsburgh to try to regain the group. Boston Bruins are on the power play for the second time for tonight in Game 3. With the win, here's Lindholm, deflected off right toward the board. Watching the player behind the net. Right over again, Kolokov, saved by Jolly. He will try to swing it over to Carter, and will have to leave it out of here, out of his own. Now Lindholm will take it over. Back to Krejci. Boston under the attack, right now in the offense zone. Archibald takes it away. The free bin. Clears the puck out. Now Lindholm will take it over back to Bertuzzi. Carter! Shot! Stopped again by Omar. Almost would have had that short-handed goal. Tough one to be on a clear and they have it all on their own. They're not really trying to keep it over it that long. 30 seconds for the Bruins power play. In the middle, stopped by Jari. Jari will hold a save here, and it's 12.48 to go. Now they're ready to take the offense and the faceoff. Score is still even in the game in the third in game three in Pittsburgh. Dumoulin trying to fire one. Brogdon trying to block it up by Pachinox. Dumoulin with the puck. Swings to Brogdon. He's almost ready to go for Petri. And no penalty called on Boston. The power play man advantage is over for the, for the Boston. They only have never received it. And they got a goal. Bergeron has their team up in the lead in the third game. That Bergeron Mosul, he was going around it. And for Bert Marchman, they have it all. Boston Bruins are in the lead right in the third period. With only 12.08 to go, it's 3-2. Now Bergeron wins it. Marchand try to block the front. Patterson misses. DeBrus has his own offense on to Marchand. On the block out. Malkin recovers over to Rust. Bad pass taken. McAvoy swings it back over on around the board. Swings to Rust. The Penguins have it now in their own offense territory. Zucker with it now. To Petri. Patterson with the puck. Leaves it off to Zucker. Patterson. Reap deflected and it's all Mark with the save. He fires the puck, clears it out. Icing is whistled on Boston as the play of the faceoff is coming up. Both teams are set, ready to take the faceoff in the offense zone. Crosby wins the faceoff. Raquel back to Latang, over again to the Rowling. Crosby in the wing. Trying to move in for it. Backhander out in a stop by Allmark. Almost close call because if Omar was able to find that Sidney Crosby was able to try to make a move, he would have gotten there right before there. Demolin, in the wing, Latang with a steal. 
On a fast break. On Big Rush. Pass. Scores! They're not going to count that one in there because he was already taking a shot. And watch what Latang does. He was way over the mark. He just went past in the crease and not enough to get there. And you can tell the fans are disagreeing the, the no goals. It's still a 3 2 nothing run. They are disappointing out there. They should have had that goal. No tie breaking up this point. They got to get over it. Now Crosby. Thinking about going up there again, and they would have to help the team to try to make a courage out there. It's clear to be honest right now, if the team was looking for open offenses, they had to find somebody else to try to go with an open pass. They can't leave it open like that. They have to find another way and go back to the offense zone to pick up a run. Scoop up along the ball by Damalen. Crosby back the other way, back over again. Pad pass. Latang needs to regroup the chain. Archibald with it now. Two bricks that sell. Deflected. Crosby gets it back. With the shot. It's blocked in front. Right now, here's Coyle. Coyle trying to wing it around. Swing it bang. Out of here. Really trying to heavy up at that point. Really have to show it off what he's going to do. O'Connor back again to Latang. And a bad pass broken up. Pumped it away. Frederick recovers it. Double time. Not this time for Jari. He makes another save. Crosby's out. On to the bench. Zacha recovering the puck. Now back to Krejci. Recovering over to Zacha. The Bruins are keeping their offense in. Krejci alone. Hit the wide off the mark. Sacha, outside, stopped by Jari. They're really keeping it up at that point. They have nowhere else to go. Manino in the corner. And Pashnak takes it over, said, give me that puck. There is no way that's enough messing on me. They're really trying to get him over this one. Taunting, I mean, come on, man. That's like already been out too much. Trying to swing it across over again to Grenland. To Friedman. Up the one time shot. Zacha reaches over to Lindholm. Lindholm trying to reach over into the offense zone. Cutting. Reaches to Zacha. Block the shot. Nice zone entry for the Penguins. Give it over to Rust. Try to deflect one in there as Hannah gives it back to Allmark. We'll hold the play here with a 4 11 to go in the third period. Staying over the net, leaving it behind. Now the players are ready to take the face off in the offense zone. The Bruins have a 3 to 2 lead over the Penguins. McAvoy, 4 minutes to go in the third period. Deep rest, finding his Orlov. Orla back over again to DeBrusque. Trying to give it to Bergeron. Zucker recovers it back over to Malkin. And rebounding. Moss has it! Ah, uh, no penalty called on Boston. He's still clean. They gotta keep it over this. Petri! Rebound it up again! Scores! We are tied! It's threes! And Penguins are coming back in the third game. Oh my, Malkin, that rebound and rejection right over there, down toward the alley of the board. They've got it down. Malkin, what a save mate. They are now trying to punch their way back into the game in the regular period. They're still trying to fight along here. When Malkin has his early release, he mixes up his own rebound. Good timing him, and this long won't stop him now. Back to you guys. Crosby swings over. Patterson. Raquel went too far. No offside call. DeBrusque with the puck. Trying to look over to Ryan. Bergeron shot. Made a rebound for Petri. A save by Jari. 
He's looking very comfortable out there, keeping up the wrist, and he's trying to do it very hard. Good shot, Snell. Raquel back to Petri again. To Raquel. Swing back to Petri. Swings to Crosby. He lifts it over to Kolokov. Swings back to Petri, over it again to Crosby. Crosby shot. Stopped by Almar. We'll hold the play with under 90 seconds to go in the third period. With the call, we have his defense standing by. David Pashinok says already oh, have keeping up this moment again. He has his snipe ability to keep that one with the players to go with an offensive side and make their play aggressive. And for Sidney Crosby with the beauty backhand shot, he can take his own look and the offensive rebound to regain the momentum. When he has his backhand check, he gets it right over with the shot around the goalie. Those two are very aggressive. I'll be keeping an eye here on Pashinok and Crosby right around the line of the game. Guys, back to you. Under one minute to play in a period, it's still a tie game. Brandlin, Friedman, lost the pass, Crunchy, Carter recovers, Brandlin, and scores! Brandlin, that's his second goal, and they're in the lead. What a make. Brandlin is on the run. An excellent feed off. When you look at the player right from the pass, you make that one clear for Albach, and he wasn't able to keep his save here that long. Now their team is in the lead. A great comeback score for the Penguins, and now they're in the lead. Now with the Carter win, Penguins are going to get the first win in Game 3 after reaching a good stop of ability run, Kolokov back the other way. No penalty called on Boston. Freeman to Rust. Back to Freeman. Malkin will keep the puck firing across to pass the pass zones. Puck taken away. Coil on Kolokov. The man advantage is on. Poke it away. Zucker will try to clear out the deck. Passing out. Try to look for an open man. Shot. Coil. Freeman. Stop it! And that is it! The Penguins win the game! They have finally regained a good stop advantage for Jari. All team, every team, they're really keeping it on. What a night for Jari and the team. What a fantastic game. We all salute fans, they're now on the board. With last season of the postseason, they have lost all four of each games. They couldn't try to save it, but now you're in a board. So as you're being said right now, fan along with Son of Beast and Mifon, this has been a presentation of the NHL, the Stanley Cup playoffs. Now let's go over to test tape them for the post game show. Good night, everyone. Alright, thank you so much there, fan. And right now, let's have your look at the three star players of the game. It's a great day to have a win for the Penguins. The third star goes out to J Jason Zucker. A goal and assist. Really did see that one going right by it. Or pass over and made that one a goal. With the second star, this one goes to Jeff Petrie. No goals and he only made three assists and two hits. And Grunland is your first star of the game. Two goals and a hit. With that run, a game winner in the period. And made that one count standby. So this was a tough one to try to maintain their way. A lot of hits in between, no power play goals for the Boston Bruins, and a lot of penalty kills for Pittsburgh Penguins. They're really going to need to try to fix things up here if they're going to do it again. So along with that point, thank you all for tuning in for the Penguins and the Boston Bruins. If you're tuning in with the next game, we've got the next one to cover you. As for the next one, will be the tough ones in between. You will see the next game as this one will be coming in for the Islanders and the Carolina Hurricanes at the new stadium in UBS Arena. As right now, they're in their home in Long Island. In the next uh, few games, we will have another one to keep advantage of. We have is the Knights and the Kraken. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I hope you all enjoyed this game. If you're tuned with us, stay, stay tuned. we got more coming up in just a few moments. Peace out everyone for a while as the Stanley Cup playoffs on EA Sports style. Don't forget to subscribe to his channel and also follow him on his social media. And a new episode of the Anime Sandy Invitational is up. If you don't, somebody will.
Thank you, and have a great day for hockey. Good night in the Steel City of Pittsburgh. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.